Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Gonna try to make this video real quick because it's actually starting to rain and uh, it has been raining already so my bike is pretty much totally wet. But anyway, somebody sent me an email and asked me like how is the paint holding up on this Schwinn bike which only has a two-part or three-part, what do they call it? Two-part uh, clear coat so it does not have uh, any paint at all. You can see my other video I'll link down down below if you want to see how I painted that and, and whatnot. But anyway, it was just over a year ago and I just wanted to give an update on how the bike is doing and especially how is the paint doing after one year of use. Now this isn't my primary bike so I'm not using it all the time. Uh, uh, but, you know, I, I use it enough, and I thought that, um, yeah, I'd show how it's holding up after a year. Now, the bike itself, whoa, sounds like thunder. The bike itself is actually holding up awesomely. I love this bike. It's prob probably the best attribute of it is how solid it is. It makes, like, no noise at all. It's just super solid. Rides perfectly. Shifts great. Um, I love the uh, mountain bike front chain ring. The rather large, what is it, 1138 or something like that, 34, I don't remember. The SRAM X5 has shifted great. Now, the down tube shifters, I'm actually thinking about switching to some, I have, what are they called, Durace flight decks, some really old ones, so I can get integrated uh, brifter shifter situation. The Altegra front brakes have done great, and the Tektro rears have done great. But let's go to the most, oh, one thing it didn't do great, I didn't really like that carbon fiber saddle long term, especially on longer rides, so I did switch to this SDG that I've had sitting around. But let's talk about the paint, because that's like the most important thing. To preface, I haven't taken it easy on it. As you can see, it's raining now. I've rode in the rain many times. I've sweated on it. I, you know, I've laid the bike down a couple times, so it hasn't had an easy year. Um, but also, it hasn't held up perfectly. Most of it looks good. Most of it looks like, like it looked when I first painted it like that. Pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Not too bad, not too bad, but there's some weird stuff going on. Look at that. Now don't ask me why that is. It's some kind of like, I don't know, like spidering or something. Like, and it, it looks like somehow moisture probably was on the metal when I applied the two part clear coat. And there's a couple places like that. A couple, not a lot, but a couple. Like here's another one right there. You see that? So. The paint looks overall good, but not perfect. Down here, it looks pretty nice, no issues. There's a couple places like that on the bike that I'm not too happy about. I mean, it looks it's a great looking bike, but then you see that and you're like, what's going on there? What is this, like some kind of, you know, uh, I don't know, rusty style you, you're going for? No, it's not a rusty, and there's another point where it did that. I don't know if that really will hurt you know, the longevity of the car, of the bike, excuse me, but it doesn't look great. So, so anyway, I'm thinking the future for this bike up, oh, it's really starting to rain now, is going to be a paint job, maybe powder coat, maybe paint. And I'm thinking of going something more traditional, probably like a white or maybe a nice blue. I'll get some nice twin decals to put, put there. I'll, I'll make my own decals and, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with it. I'm also, like I said, going to go with the integrated brakes and shifters with these ones I have sitting around. I do, I am going to need new, some new rubber for them though, because they're pretty worn out. Uh, maybe you can comment down below where I can get that, get some, uh, some boots. Is that what it's called? Some boots for those, not these shifters, but my other ones. Um, yeah, other than that, I'll leave the bike basically the same. The wheels have been doing good. Brakes have been doing good. I'll get the integrated shifters painted in a, a new color. Uh, hopefully the last color. It's kind of ridiculous how much I've I've uh, been painting this bike, but uh, hopefully it'll be the last time. By the way, this is holding up quite well. This is just some random rubber, <laughs> I don't know what you call isolator that I had sitting around. Anyway, it's really starting to rain here. This was just a short video to give you an update on this bike. I gotta go. It is, you know, properly raining here. And uh, apologize, I haven't made a video in a while. I just don't have a really good working spot right now. I do plan to do some others uh, pretty soonish. Soonish, I have some pretty interesting plans. We're going to be going on a trip, uh, and I'll be bringing my mountain bike, so it's going to need some work. And uh, anyway, I guess I'm rambling now. Uh, talk to you guys later.